Yep, I'm on. I saw him following it. Got that bass flying out for it. Oh no. I hope they go around that rock. It's just got him over those rocks. Another decent bass, this one. Just keep that lure in. Okay, it's a fantastic bass again. Can't believe it, another one on the last day. That's amazing. So I've just seen this one come out and hit the bomb and uh, just come out of nowhere. And I thought, I hope he's gonna hit it and then bang, next second I'm on. with a bass, decent one I reckon, yeah it's a good one, it's in this way. Yeah it's on the 56 gram bomb, yeah okay it's a lovely double figure bass there, it just took the bomb uh, about probably about 40, 50 yards out in a deeper trough where it just goes off a bit deeper and he just smashed it so yeah really really nice fish that i'd be over the moon with that it's got a lovely action but kind of a real nice side to side action with the nose it casts really well oh got a hit i'm on i just slowed it down over those rocks Rock. <laughs> that is a bit rocky on the inside here. Just try and keep that. No, I can just get him over these rocks. Big set coming in now, it's a good bass. A really nice one. There he is, that's a good bass. Okay, so first real session on the bass, testing out the new lures and they've got a really nice hit sort of about three quarters of the way in around the real rocky area. So I was using this new bomb lure, um, an airbrushed version and yeah, I've been testing it all winter as I was saying and I really thought it looked good and I knew it would catch some bass so really pleased to actually get it in into some action. So yeah, lovely catch that. Looking good there. Oh dear. Um, yeah, came to some great spots earlier. I was fishing off some ledges, but absolutely nothing. It was quiet. So I came to this another mark, very shallow, just over some boulders, and boom, this nice one hit the 21 gram bomb. I prefer a bit of a slow retrieve in the morning. Oh, I'm on. Good fish. I just put on the glide. I can just keep him on here. That's a good. Okay, that is a lovely bass. I'm over the moon with that. So last morning, it was quiet to start with, and uh, yeah, I didn't think it was, looked like there was anything around. And then, boom! This one just came out of nowhere. It hit the uh, chartreuse glide with the white belly. I was just bringing in uh, slowly over the reef. this glide 
just to slowly work it over the rocks. First thing in the morning, I think. It's a very small swell. I think it's the smallest today. It's working it side to side. Got it. Come on. It's a nice one. Just bring it slowly over those rocks. It's a decent bass, I reckon. Not massive, but it's a lot of head shaking and splashing. Yeah, it's a nice bass. It's taking that lure well. Right, it's first thing in the morning. I put on the glide to uh, just sort of bring it slowly through over the rock stairs, over the bouldery rocks where there's some boils and sort of real bass territory and this one took it really well there you can see yeah it really seems like the uh, glide's ideal for the morning nights and early mornings evenings yeah real slow retrieve Good take. It's looking like just as I slowed it down. Just got to get around that rock. Oh yeah. Left there now. Oh. Okay, so that one's only just hooked. I can literally take that right out. doesn't kick so yeah it's a good good catch big one good one oh, I should wait a minute just managed to get him over that rock and took it on that rock That's a nice that's a nice bass again on the tweak. I saw this one just come out from behind a rock and hit it. That was just really exciting, but it was really close to the rock, so yeah I thought the line would hit the rock at one point or break off. So yeah, that's a nice one. Start off with the chartreuse. Come with a good fit. Um, yeah, I just saw this one. I put on the chartreuse because it's a bit overcast. Chartreuse with a white belly. Just saw this one shoot out from behind the rocks. I uh, don't know if I got it on the camera, might have blown over before, but I only got it on my chest camera. Yeah, on. Good bass for sure. The feel of that, it's a double figure. Right. Uh, Lovely double figure. Okay, that was one of the most exciting takes I've had in a long while with a bass. I watched him come over the ledge, follow the lure, you know, in fairly uh, clear water, just a bit of colour to it, just follow it and then boom, didn't see a move when he hit it. So yeah, again on that mackerel, so really exciting stuff, I'm glad I'd come out here today. Thing about these little 15 gram you can catch more variety of fish plus you still can get a big fish no for sure oh come on it's a good one oh dear 
what are those rocks? Shit. That is a good fat bass. It's just saying you can get bigger fish on the little lure. Ah. Keep them from these rocks. So it's funny. I've only got my light leader on. Lifting that. Lovely bass. I can't believe it. I think a double figure on the last evening with a tiny little lure. I was just saying that you can get big fish on the little lure.